It's big relief for Parambir Singh, where Supreme Court has granted protection from arrest to Parambir Singh. That's the story we're breaking at this hour with the court now directing Singh to join the investigation. Just a few minutes ago, we heard in fact from the counsel of Parambir Singh, who had told Supreme Court, like they had told the High Court earlier, that Parambir Singh is very much in India and has not left the country. Parambir Singh has made that submission before the Supreme Court today through his lawyer. The court has now granted protection from arrest to Parambir Singh. Parambir Singh, remember, has been saying that he has made a statement, several in fact, against the former Home Minister. And that's the reason why he is fearful. He's also asked for the CBI probe in this matter. For the moment, Supreme Court has granted protection from arrest to Parambir Singh. Parambir Singh has just told the court to his lawyer that he, in fact, is very much in the country and intends to join the probe. This is a big relief for Parambir Singh with the Supreme Court granting protection from arrest to Parambir Singh who has been missing. His counsel, however, has informed court that Parambir Singh is very much in India and that he would want to join in the investigations. The Supreme Court today has granted protection from arrest to Parambir Singh. Supreme Court has granted Parambir Singh protection from arrest and asked him now to join the probe. Remember, Parambir Singh had in fact told the court that he was in the country and that he was not appearing before the agencies because uh, there was a threat to his life as what he had told the court earlier. He's also said that he's, appear, he's going to be appearing before the CBI and he's willing to do so if protection is granted to him. The Supreme Court has now granted protection from arrest to Parambir Singh. Nalini is getting asked more details on that story developing from the Supreme Court today. Finally, Nalini, the same arguments had been made before the High Court as well, but the counsel today, in fact, reiterating this, that he very much is in the country and would like to join the investigations and that he actually also fears for his life. Finally, some relief from the court when it comes to granting protection from arrest to Parambir Singh. Well, yes, Neha, and if you remember, in the last hearing, the Supreme Court had made it amply clear that there will be no question of any grant of protection and there will be no question of any hearing at all until and unless the lawyer informs the court as to whether or not Parambir Singh is present in the country or he is absconded somewhere. So in that uh, relation, the lawyers today told the Supreme Court that Parambir Singh is very much present in the country. He's also said that he has absolutely no intentions to run away or to abscond anywhere. But the issue is that there's a very genuine threat to Parambir Singh's life, especially when it comes to him entering Maharashtra. That is precisely why he approached the top court seeking protection. Parambir Singh's also gone ahead and said that he's ready to appear before any CBI official within 48 hours if the Supreme Court directs him to do so. But no such order is coming from the Supreme Court, at least for now. They've granted him protection from arrest. They've said that he cannot be arrested, at least for the time being, until further orders are passed by the Supreme Court. But at the same time, and in the very same breath, they've also directed Parambir Singh to appear before uh, the investigation agencies and ensure that he cooperates with the investigation. Another very important observation that the Supreme Court made today during today's hearing was the fact that this case has become curiouser and curiouser in this ongoing battle between the then Home Minister and the then Police Commissioner. And if this is the state of the top cop of Maharashtra, imagine what would happen to common man in this case. Mm -hmm. And that's a very serious observation coming in from the Supreme Court in relation to everything that's happened over the past year or so, when this ongoing battle between Anil Deshmukh and Parambir Singh has been ongoing before the various investigating agencies. All right, be with us, Nalini. I'm just going to come back to you for more than Nalini remembers getting us all those details from New Delhi. She's tracking the developments in court. Going across to my colleague Sahil Joshi, who joined us from Mumbai for more on that story. Sahil, from what it appears, Parambir Singh had made it clear earlier also that he fears there is a threat to his life. Is there a chance of him being given some sort of protection again? Uh, and he's also agreed to join the probe. That's a direction, clear direction of the Supreme Court today as well. Well, uh, he has to join the investigation, there is no doubt in that. But what is more important is that just last week, the Mumbai Magistrate Court had uh, uh, proclaim, uh, has announced that he is a proclaimed offender. The Mumbai police team, uh, which had gone to his official residence in Mumbai as well as in Chandigarh, uh, they had taken statement from his orderly who, is, uh, who was at his residence and have given a clear statement that he has not been seen since last uh, 
three, four months uh, in Mumbai residence. After that, they submitted this report to the magistrate and the magistrate declared him proclaimed offender. After that, getting a relief from the Supreme Court is a big relief for Parambir Singh and also a question mark on the Mumbai police's investigation. What Parambir Singh has try tried to tell the court today is that... Uh, you know, he, he also uh, presented his conversation with the DGP of Maharashtra, Sanjay Pandey, in which Sanjay Pandey was trying to tell him that uh, you take back your letter, otherwise there will be cases against you, you cannot fight with the state government. And that is something which has actually harmed the whole case of uh, the Mumbai police, it seems, at this point of time. Now, of course, the Maharashtra government will have to reply to uh, uh, the Supreme Court's notice. The CBI will also have to reply to the Supreme Court's notice because Paramvir Singh has also made it very clear that the CBI should be investigating these matters. And if the CBI investigates, he will appear in front of CBI within 48 hours. It's something what uh, uh, he has tried to tell the court. Now, whether these extortion cases against uh, Paramvir Singh, two in Mumbai, one in Thane, uh, are transferred to the CBI or not is also needs to be looked at because mm. that is what is the plea which uh, Paramvir is uh, trying to put in front of the Supreme Court. But at the same time, just two days before, I interviewed the Maharashtra Home Minister Dilip Walse Patil and he made it very clear that the cases were filed against Paramvir Singh not by the state, not by the Mumbai police, but by the ordinary citizens who could dare to do it after Paramvir Singh was removed from the mm. position of uh, Mumbai police commissioner. At the same time, he reiterated that uh, Paramvir Singh was removed from the post of uh, Mumbai police commissioner because he misled the Maharashtra government in the Antilia probe because of which Home Minister, then Home Minister Anil Deshmukh had to brief uh, a wrong statement in the Maharashtra assembly session. It's something what the Maharashtra government's official line yes. is going to be. But it's turning really interesting now in the Supreme Court that the top cop finally got relief from the Supreme Court. He cannot be arrested despite being declared as a proclaimed offender. It's something, uh, uh, a kind of a setback for the Maharashtra government and the Mumbai police is what we can see at this point of yes, time. Yes, absolutely. And he's also said that he's going to be joining the probe and that is going to happen. He's very much in the country. The Supreme Court has said, come back, join the probe and we are going to be granting you protection from arrest is what Parambir Singh was fearing all this while. Nalini, thanks for your inputs on that.